The flu um, this year, we're seeing a lot more cases of it, but primarily that's because people aren't masking up like they did the previous year. Um, so the best thing to do is just get vaccinated. The, the, even if you got vaccinated last year, the flu vaccines are set up on an annual basis because it's got to be set up to treat the most predominant strains that are out there right now. Um, and with Corona, you know, you, you always got to keep that one in mind. And, and we do Corona vaccinations here now. Jackson's Income Tax Service is ready to serve you. Jackson's Income Tax Service is open year-round, so don't delay. Come in today and get your taxes done and out of the way. Jackson's Income Tax Service has always stayed abreast of current and future tax laws. Email Jackson's Income Tax Service, call 272-8681, or visit us at 610 North Church Street in Dublin. Jackson's Income Tax Service is following CDC guidelines, practicing social distancing, you may drop off, email, or mail in your information for professional tax return services. So come to Jackson's Income Tax Service. Where experience makes the difference. To tip is Raymond and Job and Job. Nobody touches it, I'm sure that's illegal, but Jordan Triplett gathers it. Kicks it out here to O'Connor. O'Connor to Triplett. Triplett dives to the right, out to Bryce Riley. The Crusaders out with a couple of key contributors tonight. A.J. Shepard out, down to Bryce Riley. They're gonna call a foul on the floor. They call that foul on number 21. That is Riley Sumner. That's his first team first of the quarter. Ryden goes up strong. That's two quick fouls on Sumner. I mean, Sumner's making his first start, the guard, and now he's already got two quick ones. I mean, he got 2,000 in the first 13 seconds of the contest. Yeah, not a great start there for, uh, for Paul Williams and company. But Ryden at the line shooting two. The Knights are big, man. They are huge. Ryden is good on the front end of our Morris Bank and Sonovas Bank. Free throws. We'll tell you the promotional offer once Bullock Academy plays because it's only available to Bullock Academy and Bullock County mm -hmm. residents. Point to you, Ryden's a big guy, a big junior right there from the low post. Ryden, mm -hmm. two for two. The Crusaders, no slouches though. George and Williams can shoot the lights out. Raymond, the young freshman. 13, the eighth grader, Henry Hayden Clay, the big 6'5 eighth grader. They got some, they got some ball players over there. They do. There's 23, pump fakes, he lays it in. That's Ashton Williams, the freshman. Here comes Bryce Riley. Stops, the floater, no good, air ball, gets his own rebound. Goes up, no foul called, riding under the basket. Goes up strong. And it's good, Ryden's got all four points for the Knights. Here's George, William George. There's Hayden Cole. Looking for Williams. Williams can shoot the lights out. He pump fakes. They're going to call a travel on him. Say he picked up that pivot foot. iPad's about to die. I need to, need to save some juice. Job. Multiple D1 offers for the, uh, for the sophomore Job. Including Indiana, Georgia, Alabama. And there's Ryden. Over to O'Connor, the three point shooter. Good defense. Eighth grader in riding down low, triplet. Job, pump fakes. Job can shoot now. He looks tall. He might not look tall on your camera, but my goodness, he's tall. Riley, down to riding. Nice cut by Riley. It's tipped away. No foul called. Raymond picks it up. Here comes George. George can shoot too. Can't leave him open. Hayden Cole. Hayden Clay, I'm sorry. 23, it's Ashton Williams. To George. It's in George's range. Williams. Henry Williams picks it up. He drives left, kicks it out to Will. Will, oh my goodness. Oh, no good. Rebound right into the Bill Price corner. Eaten up. I'm going to tell you, George shot that thing. I mean, I thought he was shooting it from the chair that Coach Carl Nash is standing in. If the Gator head was on the other side, he'd be standing on, on the back side of the Gator head. He'd be standing like his eyeball. 
Here's Triplett, the All-State running back to O'Connor for three. It's good, he can shoot the lights out. That's a, that's a quick 7-2 for Rick Lee. Let's see what the Crusaders can do here. They can shoot the lights out in the gym too. Just as capable, there goes Williams. He caught it, traveled. That's gonna be a turnover. That's a, too many quick turnovers so far for the Crusaders. You know, they're missing guys like A.J. Shepard, D.J. Taylor, starting point guard. Uh, Jim Coleman is not available tonight. So the Crusaders are really, really looking to find some production from other guys for a lot longer than they are used to. Over to Riley. Riley, one, two, right-handed layup. Great burst of speed there by the senior as Paul Williams calls a timeout. Whether you're a Braves fan or a Dogs fan, it feels good to be a winner. I'm Don Carswell, and you'll have fun with a winning deal from Dublin Chevy Nissan. Come and see our championship selection of new and pre-owned trucks here at Dublin Chevy Nissan. Titan or Frontier, it's your choice. Sierra or Silverado, you're the winner. For the W, all you have to do is call, click, or come in. And remember, Don sells cars well only at Dublin Chevy Nissan. The City of Dublin Natural Gas provides the most cost-efficient source of energy available today. So for your home, choose the most natural resource. Safe, clean, efficient. All new subdivisions around the Dublin area have natural gas available. Start reducing your energy bills today with Dublin City Natural Gas Department. Natural gas, the smart choice. Call 277-5048 today and let us help you start saving today. With the way Williams and George can shoot it, and then you got the big boy Raymond down low. Anything can happen. George to Clay. Over to Henry Williams. George, that's where he shot it from last time. Triplet walks out. Over to Ashton Williams. Dribble handoff. Bryce Riley's in his hip pocket. Henry Williams from the elbow. No good. Off of Raymond's hand. Man, Bryce Riley is in Henry Williams' face. Full court, back court, side court, left, right, back, Henry, front, up, Henry, down. Henry Williams is going to have to log some minutes tonight, and there are going to have to be some big minutes he's going to have to log tonight. They're going to have to be tough minutes, 3-2 zone. And, and be a big shooter as well. It's going to be hard to do all that running around. Riding out to Job. Job can shoot it for three. It's good, William Job. It's a quick 12-2 lead. Trinity over to Williams. Cuts it back right, guarded by O'Connor. Spins left with his left hand. Doesn't get the roll, it's tipped away. Picked up by O'Connor. They're gonna say that ball went out of bounds. It'll be Frederica Ball. Here comes Triplett. Triplett down to Ryden. Shot no good. Henry Williams, great layup there, great basket there for the Trinity Crusaders to get some momentum going. Jordan Triplett on the right side. Joe, pump fakes. Nice pass by Riley down to Ryden, good fake, good cut. O'Connor for three, he's made it there before and he misses this one. That ball's tipped out. They think Paul Williams thought Ryden touched it last, but he did not. And it's good, Job with an easy two there. Oh, you can't give Job any easy ones. He's too good. No, you can't. Yeah. We got Andy, a tangled up mess right there. Andy Woodard's going to be our official stack guy. 14-4 lead for the Crusaders. A little full court action here. A little full court action. A 2-1-2, two, two, maybe a light press, just get a little pressure on. Good, here comes Triplett. Triplett, thinks about three, kicks it over O'Connor. It sounds like Paul Williams is saying timeout, but he's saying five out. I see where that can be confusing. Bryce Riley, nice pass to Victor Ryden. Victor Ryden's got six already, of the team 16. I'll tell you one thing that's missing from the Trinity bench right now is Paul Williams' signature towel. I don't see it. 
as Henry Williams shoots a three, and it's, it's no bueno. That ball gets to Job quickly. Job down to Ryden. Ryden. Scooby Doo underneath. 18 to 4 lead for the Knights. Here's George. Crusaders are going to have to win some one on one battles here tonight. Williams, guarded by O'Connor. Five second count coming, gets it to Clay. Clay over to Williams, guarded by O'Connor. Pump fakes, goes right. One, two. Swiped away by O'Connor. They're going to call a foul on Jacob O'Connor. That'd be his first, team first. And speaking of the depth of Frederica, here comes number 23, another big athletic guard. That's Xavier Preston. Out to George. George, the floater. Oh my gosh, I hit the camera. No good. Joe picks it up. Nice pass to Preston. Preston to Ryden. Ryden, the short jumper. No good. Paul Williams says, let it go. He's correct this time. It will be Trinity Ball. Here come the Crusaders. Andy, what do the Crusaders got to do to get back in this game? They, they got to start really, they got to get some good looks. I'm going to tell you, and making Hen Henry Williams and, and George, they, you got to get the ball inside. You got to establish something inside and to get the shooters open on the edge, and they're not able to do that right now. Yep, that was. Uh, that was James Raymond, the big freshman with the uh, with the travel. He took one too many steps. Here comes Job off the right side, slows it down, gets it to Triplett. Triplett to Bryce Riley. Bryce Riley drives in, kicks it out to Triplett. Basically a free throw, no good. Rebound Raymond, nope, tipped away. Down to Preston. Clay contests Raymond with the block. Out to Riley, Riley goes in strong, kicks it out to Jordan Triplett. Back out to Job, great ball movement there by the Knights. And it's good for three. Job has unbelievable touch for a big man. I, I mean, mean, my goodness. It's like that, he's just dropping it in the basket. It's a, I mean, and it, it almost looks like they're saying, hey, Trinity, your guards like to shoot three balls, and we're going we're gonna to let them drive in and take tough contested shots. Henry Williams goes up strong, but they're going to call a foul. It's going to be on the floor. That's number 23. That's Xavier Preston. That's his first team second of the quarter. Under the basket is Williams. Finds Williams. I don't know if they're related, but we're going to call them cousins. Henry Williams spins the turnaround. It's good. That's a tough shot right there, hitting Williams. He made it look easy. Oh, Job wasn't looking for it. Triplet picks it up to Bryce Riley. Down to Job. Over to Triplet. The long two. It's good. Down to Manette. Here comes Henry Williams off the left side. Coach's Nash team, Coach Carl Nash's team is coming here ready to go in this game. Triplet. Oh, slapped away by uh, by George. Great defensive play. Great defensive play. Will George. They're looking for Job. Job spins around over there to Triplet. Triplet goes in. One, two. Air ball. Back out to Triplet. It's good. Man, Triplett's got a pure shooting stroke. He does. It, it's a very simple stroke. And everybody from Frederica looks like they have a very short. Carl Nash must work on that in the offseason. Williams for a long three. And as long as it was, it missed by just about that much. Yeah. Trinity maybe trying to force some things here. Tough matchup here for the Crusaders having so many good players out. Here's Riley in the corner. Clock's got to run. Over to Job. Back to Riley. Back down to Ride. Ride goes up strong. He. Let's see who they call the foul on. Trinity doesn't have a very deep bench tonight. All oh, right, got some foul trouble with the key play. Fouls on number two. It's Raymond. It's Raymond. His first. Remember, all free throws are brought to our friends at Moore State Bank and Synovus Bank. And Synovus Bank. Riding. Rims out. Tipped away. Picked up by Joe. And he goes up strong and he's fouled. That foul is going to be on number two, James Raymond. That's two quick fouls for him. James Raymond. 
not a good place to be in the first quarter. You got both bigs with a team with a lot of length, JP. Not good. Joe, bet the line. It's just smooth as, I don't know, freshly put on sheets. You know, mm -hmm. that fitted sheet when you put it on just out the dryer. Is that smooth or is that, is that a weird comment? That is smooth. Joe. Fresh. Like, uh, like when you open that peanut butter jar for the first time and you see that peanut butter sitting on top just nice and smooth, you really don't want to stick that knife in there. George. Oh, I was looking for a cut Williams. He throws it just behind him. Unlucky turnover there for the young George. All right, Triplett says we're gonna work one shot right here. 13 seconds left, 28-6 lead over to Riley. Let's see who takes it, my bet's on Ryden. Nope, Williams got it, five seconds. Over to George, it's good, nice job, Will George. Good, and that's, Carl Nash is visibly upset, but that's a good little way to end it, get a good basket, maybe get some momentum going to the second quarter. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got uh, able to do some ultrasound-guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand-new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. Got that, that sheet. Part of it, I'm sure, is Justin say he knows he's going to get to. He needs to go ahead and start working on it now. Checking in for the Knights is number 10, Rashawn Jackson. Over there to Ashton Williams, guarded by Triplett. There's Sumner. Had two quick fouls early. Backdoor cut for Williams, not there. Out to Will George. That ball's tipped away by Xavier Preston. Picked up by Henry Williams, the runner. No good, just rims out. Rebound Job. He almost could have just tapped it lightly back in the basket. Triplet to Job. Back to Triplet. Here comes Jackson, the young freshman. Over to Triplet. Down to Ryden in the corner. Back to Trip. Kicks it over to Jackson. Jackson pump fakes. Out to Preston for three. No good. Rebound Jackson. Over to Job, that's always a good pass. Then the triplet. Preston tries the three again, no, he kicks it out. Swings it over to Jackson for three. It looks good, it is good. And the crowd goes wild for the young uh, Rashawn Jackson. And by the crowd, I mean the Frederica girls team. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to tell you, Jackson came in there and stepped in that one. He went scared of the region semifinal. Oh, no. Carl Nash is grimacing, fouling a three-point shooter, taking a long three. And it was a long one. And it, it, you know, if he's a step or two closer, Will George is banging these in. You know, he's a good shooter in his own right. Timeout. I'm not sure who took it. I think his Paul Williams took it. The diesel and automotive technology programs at Oconee Fall Line Technical College are hands-on and can be completed in a year and a half or less. 
Students gain valuable experience working on state-of-the-art equipment and training aids, and even maintain the college's diesel truck and vehicle fleet, which allows them to see the real-world issues they'll encounter on the job before they graduate. During labs, students are exposed to every part of the automobile or diesel truck and are required to put the theories they've learned in the classroom and during lectures into action. OFTC's diesel program is certified through Daimler Trucks of North America's Get Ahead program, which allows students to add certifications to their resume before entering the workforce. Automotive technology students can also earn entry-level certifications through Automotive Service Excellence. Adding these certifications to their resume before entering the workforce sets OFTC graduates apart when applying for jobs. These programs are flexible and instructors work with students to accomplish their individual goals. Day and some evening class options are available, and the majority of a student's classwork is done online, so time on campus is spent applying knowledge and practicing skills through lab assignments. Careers in the diesel and automotive technician industry are in demand, and the more a technician learns, the more valuable they become to their employer. Opportunities in these fields are endless. I think Joe Coleman was a day-to-day -day decision. He's, I don't even see him on the bench. Um, so that's unfortunate. A.J. Shepard suffered a broken wrist on, uh, on Saturday at Westfield. As Will George misses the front end of Arsenovas Bank and Morris Bank. Free throws. You think Aaron George will come over for the fourth quarter of this game? Oh, geez, I don't know. He's up there talking to Jay Shepard. And, and Will George, good. Got one more, the three-point shooter. The long sleeve, the long sleeve thief knocks in two out of three. Preston, the triplet. One, three, one, kind of half court pressure here by the uh, Crusaders. Preston, down to Jove. Down to triplet on the elbow, out to Jackson for three again. Jove, riding, it's good. You can't stop links sometimes because you get you can put a butt on in the box down the Crusaders and you need to start doing a better job of doing that. Sumner looking for Williams. Over to George. Out to, out to Williams. Ashton Williams goes up with the right hand. Oh, what a good looking uh, good looking cut there. No good. Joe to Jackson. Down to Ryden. Nice pass. Oh, stolen away by Sumner. Great defense there. Sumner goes through. One, two. How do you do? Mr. Riley Sumner. Job. Tipped away. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds right, right oh. near living room. I'm going to tell you, this is a good little run. Six quick points. Forces some defensive issues. Good decisions right now by the Crusaders. See if the Crusaders can keep it up. Williams. Over to Cousin Williams. I don't know if they're related, but they are. Ashton Williams. Ashton no Williams good. is Coach Paul Williams' son. Okay, so they are related. Then they are cousins. I was right. Henry Williams is not related, though. I thought he was thought he was kin to assistant coach. He is. Henry Williams is the assistant coach's son. John Williams. Are they are are John Williams and, and Coach Williams not related? No, they are not. Oh. See, I was under the impression they were. You can tell we're not from, from the old D-Town. We are not. We're doing the best we can. Out goes Triplett. In comes number one, Thomas Jackson. Carl Nash is using that deep bench that he has an advantage of right now. When Frederica came to Bullock a couple weeks ago, they used every bit of it and more. Over to Riley. Riding. Thomas Jackson. Out to Riley. Riley backs it all the way out. Over to Jackson. Now Riley. Back to Jackson. Might just be a back and forth game here. Down to Preston. Down to Joe. Joe boxes out. Goes up strong. Oh, just rolls out. Rebound Bryce Riley. Down to Joe again. That's a good pass all the time. Joe misses. Riding. No good. Here comes Henry Williams up the left side. Goes up with the right hand. And it's blocked away by Xavier Preston. Preston blocked the ball and picked him up. Great contest there by Xavier Preston. Great take there by Henry Williams. Out to George. Nice skip pass to, to Clay. Pump face, no good. That ball's loose. Henry Williams grabs it, spins around. Out to Riley Sumner. It's good. Man, Henry Williams, what a heck of a basketball player. 
I'm going to tell you, Henry Williams is a tough hombre. Bounds on point score. Crusader fans saying, hey, let's get on our feet. Let's get a stop here. Over to Jackson. Jackson drives in. One, two. That was easy for Jackson. Uh-oh. If anybody out there in Facebook land is listening from Bulk Academy, Coach JP needs a, an external battery for my iPad. It's about to die. Riley Sumner. It's good. Sumner, after those quick fouls, has had himself a great second quarter. He's got eight. He's got half of his team 16. Preston to Jackson to Ryden. Energy's picking up a little bit. There goes Riley. Goes up strong. It's good. That's just tremendous ball movement by Fred Enrique Cadman right now. Tremendous. They're finding the holes in that zone defense and they're cutting to the basket. There goes Ashton. They're going to call a charge there on number 23, Ashton Williams. There's Ryden. Nice cut by Jackson. Does he go up? He does not, he's hammered. Oh, Bryce Riley shoots it, comes off and hits right in, right in the schnoz. See who they call the foul on. Call it on 20, call it on 21? Yeah, they did, 21. That's Sumner's third. I thought that foul was on the big fella. I thought it was Aiden. gonna be on Clay if it was on anybody. Jackson, drives in, he walked. Job, just want a little practice shot there. Yeah, Job won a little extra shot there. All right, 37-16 lead for the Knights. 3.05 remaining in your, in your first half. There's Ashton Williams. Drives left. Great take by him. scoop de doop no good. Here comes Bryce Riley, dodging and weaving. Oh, in comes number 12 for the Knights. That's Grant Moore. He checks in as it's stolen away. Will George, for three, it's good. Uh-oh, Knights fighting over the same ball. Here comes Thomas Jackson. Over to Bryce Riley. Bryce Riley, the calm senior. Nice pass to Moore. Over to Job for three. It's good. That's Job's spot. The corner three is Job's spot. Will George to Henry Williams. Cuts it back, step back, three-pointer. No good, just off the back rim. Rebound, Riley. Riley slows it down. All oh, tipped away by Will George. Will George on the floor, no good. William Moore down to Ryden, looking for the alley-oop. Ryden wasn't ready for it. He goes up strong, no good. They're gonna call a foul on the big fellow, William Job. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. Home is where the heart is, and Century 21 Durden Cornegay wants to match your heart's desire with the perfect home. Let our realtors at Century 21 help you find a new home. Realtors Brian Howell, Charlene Lamp, Adam White, David Deeves, Jennifer Brantley, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Ruth Watson, Charlene Brantley, Raina Dubberly, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden will go to work to fill your heart's desire in a new home. So call Century 21 Durden Cornegay and let's make your dreams reality. Log on to C21Dublin.com for more information. To the Trinity, is they're not really putting any foul pressure on, on uh, Fred Rick right now. Is that ball stolen? Andrew Williams, what a play. Bryce Riley a little confused there, wants a, wants a foul with that. All I heard was the sound of a ball. 
Nice block by Henry Williams. Over to Preston. Clay falls asleep on the back end. Here comes Will George. Will George and Henry Williams can shoot the Crusaders right back into this one. Sumner. Yeah, Sumner. Uh, they may have took a quick little extra step by there. Yeah. Moving a little too fast. Brain and feet not on the same, uh, not on the same wavelength there. Jackson over to Preston. Over to Bryce Riley. Back to Job. Job, one, two, three. No good. No foul, no travel call, but it'll be Crusader ball. Ooh, Job might have got away with one right there. One too many extra steps for him. Hard to miss because they're such big steps. I mean, two steps and from the free throw line, he's at the goal. <laughs> Williams. I'm going to say, whoever's guarded Williams did a fantastic job. O'Connor, Preston, Riley. Oh, that ball slips away. Ball's on the floor, picked up by Will George. Behind the back, stolen away by, by Riley. Over to Moore. I tell you what, I missed that on the live stream, and I'm sorry. Uh, that was a lot of good effort there. That's tremendous effort. Tremendous effort. Henry Williams, Bryce Riley, Will George, a lot of great GI State soccer players there. Ashton Williams, floater with the left hand off the side of the backboard. No good. 50 seconds left, 44-19 lead for the Knights. Over to Job. Let's see if they caught a foul or the ball out of bounds. Just the ball out of bounds. Wonder what it's like to be six foot seven. I don't know, I'm five foot eight. I, I will, it would be really nice. And you can shoot it like that. More over to Preston. Job's open in the corner. Back out to Riley. The Knights are gonna hold 34 seconds left, it looks like. Jackson. Back to Riley. Back to Jackson again. Is it a back and forth again? Jackson shot, no good. Rebound by Clay over to Will George. Will George pushes up the right side. Kicks out to Ashton Williams. That's a foul on William Moore. Kind of lunges his chest yeah. into it. They're going to call it every time. I mean, if you, you put a, you know, we were almost right there to a lesser, uh, wrestling move there. Body to the back suplex. That's right. <laughs> He's trying to set it for the half. George. Dribble handoff to Williams. To Sumner, seven seconds left. Crusaders got to make something happen. George, the run in three, goes up strong, no foul called. Preston, the full court heave. It's no good. And we'll go to the half. Knights up 44-19. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. It's nothing personal, it's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Vic is going to get the ball to open the third quarter of action. More underway, Jordan Triplett, the sophomore guard from Frederica, is going to swing it over. It goes back to 11. That's Riley. Riley goes to the corner to O'Connor. O'Connor looks for the go. He's going to lob it up to Rigdon, and it's no good. I need a charger in a bad way. All right, so here we are. Trini's going to force a turnover. They need to go. That was one of our keys to start the second half. Force some turnovers and then could convert on the other end of the floor. That's what Trini needs to do. Williams is going to roll off a couple of screens. Williams, shot fake. He's going to drive in. He pulls up, takes a deep two. That's a good looking shot. Henry Williams, that's a contested two. He's got six on the night. The ball gets swung to O'Connor. O'Connor. So that's Riley back to O'Connor. Riley's got it, a couple of right-handed dribbles. He kicks it right there to Rigdon. Triplet, jumper, off the back iron, no good. Ball gets swung in. 
All right, big basket right there for the Crusaders. So here we go, ball game, triplet goes to the corner. All right. Good, here we go, we're ready. I need a portable charger. Like, if you can find me a block that I can plug this into, that I can then plug into this iPad, that would be great. But, what? I know I don't have one, but I don't know what to do. Here. Maybe he landed here totally by coincidence. But if by chance he's admiring your fresh coat of Benjamin Moore soft sky blue, well, that's a pretty high compliment. Coming from an expert. Quality products and installations since 1985. That's four seasons. Good morning, Dublin and Lawrence County. My name is Richard Nesbitt and this is Fran Wells. And we're here at the Oconee Gym and Football Field, the home of the Mighty Trojans. We are here to let you know we are kicking off the Black History Festival with a health fair. I'm gonna turn it over to Fran and she's gonna give you more details. We're here at the Oconee Gym to start out our Black History Month and celebration of the year. Our first event will be held February 12, 2022 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., which will be our health fair symposium. We're asking everyone to come out and take part of this great event. We'll be talking about your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, and your home health. We will have a healthy, fun weekend. Please come out and be with us along with Dr. Jerry Daniels, Mental Health, Dublin Fire Department, Shakima Lane Bibbins, Nurse Practitioner at the VA Hospital, Attorney Vernon Smith, Dudley Funeral Home, Healthy Start, Habitat for Humanity, Wings, Pearson's Personal Home Health Care, a Jazz Class, and South Central Health District, and many, many more. And we will be serving light refreshments. Yes, we have it all in store for you, so come on out, take part of this great event, and it's for everyone of Dublin Lawrence County. We look forward to seeing you in this event and all other events during the year. Thank you. 23-48 uh, deficit here for the Crusaders. Frederica leads. Henry Williams comes down with two big baskets. Um, Sorry for the technical difficulties. We're trying to get our bearings together, trying to get all of our devices charged. Our Facebook Live is dying. Um, and we've got a couple more games to go tonight. So a couple of big, important ones. Bullock Academy, Frederica Girls. But 6.23 remaining in the third quarter. Frederica leads 48-23. Out of the timeout, it'll be Trinity Ball moving right to left on your dial. Frederica going left to right. Here comes Will George. Will George, Riley Sumner. Here comes Henry Williams, a lot of motion. Over to Ashton Williams, to George. Here comes Williams in the corner. Will he go baseline? No, the three-pointer, no good. Bryce Riley, the rebound. Good shot there, though. Good movement without the ball by Henry Williams. Good shot there for the Crusaders. Just got to start following. Riley kicks it out to O'Connor. O'Connor, the three-point shooter. Back to Riley, down to Ryden. Out to O'Connor, he'll shoot it. No good, his first miss of the night from beyond the arc. Here comes Sumner. One, two, nice layup. Oh, too strong, Riley Sumner. There's Triplett. O'Connor again. Over to Riley. Down to Triplett, O'Connor for three again. Misses two in a row. Tipped out by Job over the smaller George. Triplet, the short two is good. Job was one in the, in the corner. The triplet makes the basket. Here comes Will George. Over to Henry Williams. 
cutting Riley Sumner. Pump fakes, goes up strong. It's good, Riley Sumner for two. There's the Paul Williams towel we all know and love. Triplet to Riley. Down to Ryden. Riley, the cutter, pump fakes, goes back the other way. No good. Rebound Ryden, goes up strong. It's no good. James Raymond hobbling, looking for a rebound, can't find it. He's hobbling on one leg. James Raymond's got to come out. The big freshman. And they're not subbing. Yep, here they go. Here comes Clay. In comes number 12, um, Ben Castro Paveda. It's a heck of a name. Will George, Ashton Williams. Will George drives left. Back right, Ashton. Williams, pump fakes, goes left. Good defense by O'Connor. Switch back, the floater. It's good, Ashton Williams. That's a very talented freshman, ladies and gentlemen, a very talented freshman. Triplet, pump fakes to Riley, doesn't like it. Out to O'Connor. Triplet wants it back. To Riley, to Job, the three-pointer. It's good. William Job with the smoothest stroke you'll see. There's Ashton Williams on the wing. Drives to his right, spins back left, goes in, one, two. Nice move by Williams, no good. They're gonna call that foul on Victor Ryden. That was Hayden Clay going up strong with a rebound, almost tipped it back to big eighth grader. Ryden, a junior. That's four years in age different, folks. That could be a 13 and 14 year old on a 17 or 18 year old. You never know, 16, 17. I know how different I was from 13 to 17. It was amazing. Clay, front end, short. Eighth grader gets a lot of talk around the GISA. Maybe a lot of pressure on him. It's hard being a young guy, being that tall, being that good at basketball. Clay. What's up? Oh, no good, just rolls out. Yes. Hey, will you go plug this in somewhere? Sorry folks, I'm gonna talk to the extraordinaire Johnny Hood. Will you plug in this iPad the rest of this game? Yeah. Gracias, mi amigo. Riding over to Riley. Riley pump fakes, goes right, stolen away by Sumner. Thanks, Johnny. Oh, back out to Riley, out to O'Connor, behind the back for three. No good. Preston tips it out. Let's see who touched it last. It'll be Riley Sumner. It'll be Frederica Ball. Riley, down to it, Ryden. Triplet goes up strong, and they're gonna call a foul on number 12, Ben Castro Paveda. Currently no seniors on the floor, only one senior on this entire roster, and that was A.J. Shepard, but he broke his wrist in a Saturday in a Saturday matchup with Westfield. Triplet. It's good. 54-27 lead for the Knights. Henry Williams. Over to Ashton Williams. Jab step, pump fakes. Drives left. Good help defense there by Triplet. Picked up there by Riley Sumner, great job. Riley Sumner. Oh, that ball's still on the floor, picked up by O'Connor. Knights will slow it down, get the ball in the hands of Triplet, the playmaker. Pump fake, the, play, the point guard over to O'Connor. Skip pass to Riley, one more. Preston for three. It's good. Carl Nash loves it, loves every bit of it. Paul Williams and company having a tough night tonight in the West Side Fieldhouse. Ashton Williams still playing hard, jab steps. Over to Paveda. Uh, Henry Williams was cutting. And he jabs it back, Paveda thought he was going. He tries to feed him and it's no good. Bryce Riley to take it out. Here's Triplet. Back to Riley. 
Down to Ryden, backdoor cut, there it is. Bryce Riley goes up strong, blocked by Raymond. That's gonna be off triplet. It'll come back this way, Trinity ball. Crusaders down by 30, but they can shoot. They can claw back in it just as fast as anyone. Here's Henry Williams, screened by Raymond, the roll. Henry Williams goes up strong. Foul is called. That foul is gonna be on Xavier Preston, number 23. Henry Williams goes to the line to shoot two. Remember, all these free throws brought to you by our sponsors, Synovus Bank and Morris Bank. First one is good. Henry Williams is good, two for two for Henry. Skip pass over to Preston. Up checked in is number five. That's Isaiah Preston, I'm assuming the younger brother. Over to O'Connor, pump fakes. Step back, no good to Ryden, to Triplett. Over to O'Connor, doesn't like it again. Good patience here by the Knights. Preston, does he swing it to his younger brother? Triplett, over to O'Connor. Back to Triplett, over to Preston. Yeah, Xavier didn't get his feet set, that's gonna be a travel. Job checking back in. Out goes Ryden. William Job, a gentle looking fella, but will shoot your heart out. Williams to Williams, over to Clay. There's Paveda, dribble handoff to Williams. Will Williams go right? No, he goes left, step back. Comes the screen by Raymond. He goes back right. Nice job, Henry Williams, slapped away by O'Connor. O'Connor, nice pass to Preston, no good. Blocked by Paveda. They're gonna say he stepped out of bounds. It'll be Crusader ball. Headed back the other way. Williams to Williams. Back to Williams. Let's see if he passes it to Williams again. My money's on Williams. Yep, Williams. Oh, over to Raymond. Nice pick and roll action there by the Crusaders. Here comes Triplett over to Preston. Triplett drives in. Goes up strong. The floater. It's good. Jordan Triplett. Great work by the young fella. Paveda. Nice pass to Clay. Can Clay go up strong? He does not. He kicks it out. Henry Williams for three. It's good. Preston in the corner. Back to Triplett. Over to Preston. To O'Connor in the corner. That's his spot. Yep. Answers right back. Three-pointer for, for Jacob O'Connor. Henry Williams. Pump fakes. Thinks about it. Nice screen for Ashton. Ashton likes that left hand. Floats it into Clay. Clay. Shot deflected there by the big William Job. Nice pass to Xavier Preston for three. Oh, it just rims out. Clay not aggressive enough, aggressive enough at the basket. Triplet gets the rebound. Over to Job. Job, this step back three. That would have been an incredible shot. There he is, the man with the plan. A dub. Andy Woodard, the son of Trinity. Duty calls, man. A lot. Duty calls. 2.9 remaining. 62-34 lead for the Knights. Preston tipped away. Gathered by Williams. Oh, he had two seconds. Wow, that looked really good. Wow, yeah, let me tell you. The whole float, that looked really good. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn and Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. 
At Lake Alignment, we would like to take this time to thank our community for your support over the last 66 years, and especially these last few months with the opening of our brand new truck center. When you drive into Lake Alignment, you get master trained technicians like Anthony Penny. Everybody calls him Bug, but it means so much to us. And on behalf of Neil Harden, Lisa, our staff, and the entire Lake family, we thank you for supporting us since 1954. Come see us today. We open every morning at eight o'clock and now our truck center is open on Saturday to serve your big trucks and equipment from eight until 12. At Lakes Alignment, we thank you and this entire community and will continue to serve you with the best trained staff and friendly, courteous service. Lakes Alignment, hometown people serving hometown people. Come see us today, 104 Johnson Street, East Dublin. Boys, looking a little bleak now, but when you have so many injuries, that kind of stuff happens. Uh, you can kind of compare that to some Bullock Academy football action. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, Hampton Gross is in. Nope, sorry, that's 12. That's Ben. Castro Paveda is Castro. my favorite name to say. Is yeah. Williams. Williams is no good from the elbow. Preston. They're getting him the three if he wants it. Jackson. Step back to O'Connor. Ryden's flashing on that elbow. They want to feed it to him, but they're not going to let him. Fred Rican. Henry Williams tips it away. Preston very, very calmly. Very calm. Over on the logo. Cross between the legs. Over to Jackson. Jackson, step back. Here we go. O'Connor. Long three. Nope. Down to Ryden. Tipped away by Clay. Gathered up to Preston. That ball is tipped away. Now it's gathered by Ashton Williams. Nice floater to Henry Williams with the left hand. That's a really good basketball play right there. The Williams to Williams connection. Twenty-three. There's Xavier Preston. Nope, doesn't want it. Over to Thomas Jackson. A long two. Foot was on the line. No good. Here comes Sumner. Williams. Riley Sumner, the rebound. No good. Riley Sumner again. Goes up strong. And it's good. Man, Henry Williams for a for a littler fella is pretty explosive. He jumps high. Thomas Jackson. Over to the younger Preston. Might have gotten away with a walk there. Riding to Preston. Got O'Connor in the corner if he wants it. Doesn't want him. Thomas Jackson. Brings it back out and the Knights reset. 618 remaining. Five second call coming. No call. Jackson over to O'Connor in the corner. It's mighty quiet in the West Side Field House. It is. I'm going to tell you, those Trinity fans that were loud earlier as Preston steps into a three ball. Bottoms up. That ball looked good for, I mean, we were standing, I mean, we're sitting right behind him. And that ball looked good all the way in. Coach Carl Nash's squads have shot the ball really well. Let's see who the foul's called on. That's going to be on number three, Jacob O'Connor. Not to be confused with famous uh, Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Wow. Like you know, there are not a lot of games to get a Sandra Day O'Connor reference <laughs> Probably not. Henry Williams for three. No good. Play the big eighth grader, kicks it out. Back down to him. Can he go up strong in the mismatch? He goes up, and that's tipped away by Thomas Jackson. I think Thomas Jackson gets hit hard there. In the soft spot. That's tough. Here comes Williams. Here comes the other Williams. He drives baseline. He goes up strong. Air ball. 535 remaining. Thomas Jackson, over to Xavier Preston, to Jackson. He goes up, one, two, three steps. No travel called, O'Connor for three. Oh, uh, short. Rebound, Clay. He was looking for Paveda, and he wasn't looking back. Preston for three. Preston's a very good slash three, four. He might, uh, Preston might have 15 points all on threes tonight. Riley Sumner, speaking of Preston, he's guarding him face up. Sumner beats him off the left side, and they're going to call a foul on Xavier Preston. And 
in comes number 10, Rashawn Jackson, and number 12, Grant Moore, an eighth grader and a freshman. Henry Williams. That was easy. Nice move, Henry Williams. My heavens. There's Thomas Jackson. We've got two Jacksons and two Prestons and a Colin Moore. Grant Moore, I'm sorry. Colin Moore attends Bullock Academy and is in the third grade. <laughs> I had him at soccer camp. Ashton, Ashton Williams right there got a little too greedy trying to deny the ball and got and got it too good of a bump. Right there. Gets called for the foul. Over to the young Preston. Young Preston feeds the old Preston. Back to him, pump fakes, fly by, three ball. Oh, just rims out. Big Preston goes up strong and he's fouled hey, by the big eighth grader. Out. He's gonna help out the little man. That's right, Hayden Clay goes up. He's got three positions listed, center, forward, and power forward, the eighth grader. And he fouls the junior, Xavier Preston. Man, I'm sure if you ask Clay, he can fill up the water coolers, he can sweep <laughs> the floor. He's not old enough to drive, so he can't drive the bus. No, but I bet you he can sit in the front. <laughs> I bet you he can sit in the front. Speaking of Clay, he checks out. In comes the, the other fantastic big man for the Trinity Crusaders, James Raymond, center, forward, power forward. He can't drive the bus either. No good. Rebound Riley Sumner. Does he look for Paveda? Does he take it all the way? Ooh. They're going to call a block on Preston. Sumner might have gotten away with one there, but they're going to call the foul on Preston nonetheless. They're going to call it on the floor. Wow. Also interesting. Uh, a lot of oddities. Williams in the corner. Guarded by Thomas Jackson. Down to Raymond. They're going to call a foul on Grant Moore. Ball's tipped away, gathered by Henry Williams. He steps into a three. No good, too strong. Rebound Preston. He's got young Preston to his left. He's got it for three. And it's good. 72-40 lead for the Knights. Henry Williams, 404 left in this region tournament for the Crusaders. Can they make something happen? Stops and pops. No good. Raymond goes up strong. Yes, good rebound, James Raymond. That's a big freshman. He is a big freshman. James Raymond looks young, very young in the face as well. He's going to be a big senior. He is. Over to Jackson. Nice pass to Grant Moore. No good. Here comes Riley Sumner. To Ashton Williams. He can shoot it. Cuts it to his right. Spins back left. No good. Williams. Yes, kicks it out. Paveda. Paveda drives to his right. Oh! Oh, Paveda bent that leg awkward, awkwardly right there. I thought he wanted to shoot it, and then he decided not to, and then he was going to pass it, and then he traveled. He's, got, he's getting his number called in a tough spot, though. Jackson, down to Moore, down to Preston, to Jackson, over to Young Preston for three. Can he make this one? No good. Moore with a rebound. Jackson from the block. It's good. 2.58 remaining. And look at these young guys. You gotta be excited if you're Carl Nash. Williams, no good. And, and you gotta be the same thing if you're, if you're Paul Williams. A lot of freshmen on the floor. Williams is like really the only, only guy, Henry Williams. And he's a junior. Yeah. And he's a junior. The only senior you're losing is A.J. Shepard, and, and I hate it for him. He broke his wrist, but he'll be back in six to eight weeks. And you just gotta hope the Crusaders can make it that long if you're a Trinity fan. Out goes Xavier Preston, in comes number 15, Noah Falcon, the freshman. Guarding the couple inches taller, James Raymond. Let's see if they take advantage of that. Raymond to Ashton Williams, cuts back to his right. Good defense by Jackson. Pump fakes, the runner. That's good, count the basket. Good play right there, Ashton Williams. What a good play. Yeah, they're gonna call that foul on number 10, Rashawn Jackson, the freshman. Asha Williams lining it up. It's good. 
See what Thomas Jackson and crew can make happen for the Frederica Academy Knights. Depreston. Depreston. Back to Jackson. Nice pass down to Grant Moore. It's tipped away, gathered up by Ashton Williams. Snap back. Crossover. Tween, tween. Tipped away by Grant Moore. Oh, it's stolen. He goes up far. Layup is good for Grant Moore. Ashton Williams caught, trying to get a little too fancy there. Here comes Henry Williams. Ashton with the screen. Henry goes left. They're going to call offensive foul. They're going to say Thomas Jackson had his feet set. One mic in. And I'm on. One mic out, one mic in. Here we are. Jackson's going to ease it across. He kicks it back to five. Preston. Jackson kicks to the corner. He throws it to nobody. He hits the Frederica girls basketball coach in the hand with a fastball. All right, Henry Williams is going to ease into the ball game right here. He's going to ease it over half court. Gets a quick screen. Ball goes to the corner. The Raymond. We had a little clock malfunction, it appears. Went off a few seconds, that thing. We're back at action right here. It's a 76 to 45. Frederica Academy lead over the Trinity Crusaders. You didn't put it in right. It cuts on on the back one. Ashton Williams goes in. That match shot's no good. Ashton Williams gets called for a reach. Alright. Here we go. We're back in action. We're back in action. Jackson's got it, goes to the corner to Preston, and Preston to Moore. Back to Preston. They just gonna work it away. Coach Nash's crew is just gonna try to eat the clock up. There you go. Ball gets kicked around. Jackson to Preston, Preston to Moore. Ball goes inside to Jackson. He finds a cutter to the lane. Good layup right there by Rashawn Jackson. Little Jackson. Little Jackson, a freshman guard. Little Jackson. Henry Williams, one minute left. Knights lead 78-45. Carl Nash's crews look very crisp today, and he's got a lot of stars resting as Ashton Williams goes in. He's asking for a foul call again. That's two trips down the floor. He's done that. Moore, shot gets blocked. Maybe. No, it doesn't. I'm not sure what happened. Pavetta got hit in the eye. Raymond steals this one. And Raymond's going to go lay it in. Man, he went in the basket hard. He did. And the refs are going to let him play a little bit right here with less than a minute to go in a 78-47 uh, game. A game that has been decided. You know, I think the common phrase sometimes used is no blood, no foul. And it's one of those situations maybe might, right Might now. just be. Might just be. There's more. 13 seconds left. Can they get a turnover? No, they can't. Jackson keeps it. He backs the guy. They want Falcon to get the ball. Falcon. They want Falcon to shoot it. Falcon travels. Well, Dagnab it. Falcon wanted to shot the freshman forward. One second. And that'll and do it. it.